Uh, my name is Kristen. I'm from America, USA. I was born and raised in Idaho. When I was little, I just used to read a lot. I would read like a 300 page book almost every day. And like most of my relationships when I was younger were with characters. And, you know, I really connected to the fact that when I was reading a book about a character that was sad, I would feel sad. When I was reading a character about a character who was having an amazing time, I felt excited and I was so wrapped up in the stories and my emotions followed the story so closely and I couldn't wait to find out what happened to these characters and even though they weren't real. Because I came to a reading, a stage reading, um, at HCAC and I saw the sign for Metaphors Be With You they, the, there, the open call for writing and Camille had come up to me and introduced himself and we were chatting and I mentioned that I was a writer and he said that I should send in some stuff for Metaphors Be With You and I was a little bit nervous because I never read anything out loud. Um, you know, I've done quite a lot of writing and that's as far as it's gone, I've never performed it, I've never been on stage before, I've never done any plays, anything like that. So for me to be writing something also that was going to be read aloud was a little bit nerve-wracking. It is scary to write about experiences from your life and to perform them in front of others. And I think the thing that I've come to realize is that vulnerability has such power and the more you are exposed to people who are doing this and sharing experiences from their own life and being really vulnerable about what excites them and what hurts them and what embarrasses them the more you realize that there's such power in that and it enables us to be also connected so when I'm writing about things that uh, make me vulnerable um, I know that there is power in that and that it's it's m stronger to be vulnerable than not so I've learned not to be scared now because I know that there's power in it. And it surprised me how much I liked it actually. I, yeah, like I said before, I'd never been on stage before and I never really even used a microphone. So to go up in front of people and to say what I had written was a medium that was new to me. I was used to writing things and putting it out in the open for people to see and for people to read, but never for me to be behind the mic saying it directly to them. So I thought that maybe I would try it once <laughs> and then not do it ever again, but since then I've been doing a lot more spoken word stuff in general and I just, yeah, I really enjoy speaking directly to people. The first Metaphors Be With You when that I did was at Singapore Writers Week and I did a story or um, read something about weight and how you know I was very insecure about who I was when I was younger and my friend who was in the crowd told me afterwards that while I was speaking about all of these things that affect women especially so much that she could see all the women in the crowd nodding their heads with me when I said something that was quite um, intense. And that just was really awesome for me to realize that I had connected with so many people at the same time.